Good morning, Pisces. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. Welcome on board the Cosmic Chariot. I'm going to be your tour over here today. My name is Tyler. How are you guys doing? All right, so Pisces, this is going to be your weekly reading. Not all messages will or his name, but take or resonates and leave the rest behind. For that being said, all right. So, if you do find that you are resonating with any of these messages, you are welcome to hit that like button or hit that button to let me know that you are resonating and enjoying my content and that you want to see more all right so today we'll be using the Gaia throw deck and the spirit of the wheel meditation deck so I'm going to do two shuffles for Pisces and then we're going to divide up the deck and see what you guys got okay okay All right, so Pisces at the bottom of the deck, you have the Maiden in reverse. So that tells me that you're not really feeling like yourself or you're really needing to be nurtured this week um, because you're just having a hard time finding that self-love or, you know, really, you know, loving on yourself. Either way, let's pull some overall energies for you guys and then we'll get right into your reading. So you have the King of Air. You also have the Three of Water. In reverse and the nine of earth heaven and earth so this could mean that you are getting messages from the spirit realm and you don't or like you're seeing things from like a new perspective like you're getting messages from the spirit realm and messages from earth but you're just you're having a hard time differentiating like when it like, if you're going to, like, compare the two, like, it's a lot different, right? But your world is, like, merging together, if that makes sense. And you're merging, they're merging into one world for you. Uh, for some people, this could be just your ancestors trying to contact you from the other side. Um, but you do have the king of air here, so maybe you have some air in your chart or maybe there's an air sign that's going to be very important for you this week um and then with the three of water here this could so something about a friendship it a friendship just isn't going as smoothly as you thought it would maybe a transition didn't you know work out for you because maybe you were transitioning from the um, king of air to like this very earthy very nurturing energy and it's not what you expected it's not what you thought it was going to be like and uh, you're just having a very tr hard transition this week um, but when it comes to friends because this is you know the friendship card the three of cups or the three of water um, there's I feel like you you have you're having a hard time trusting a friendship or trusting this person. You could be having a hard time trusting a water sign because you are very logical and they are very nurturing, um, and you're just like you guys see things from different perspectives. It's like it's like heaven and earth. Like you got one's more good and heavenly, and the other one is you know earth. You know it. It has some goods, but, you know, there can be a lot of bads on Earth. But um, mostly Earth is very nurturing as well. You know, we try to nur nurture the Earth so that way we can, you know, really focus and do better for ourselves, right? So, yeah, there could be, just be a connection that just isn't working out because you guys are, like, complete opposites to the point where you can't even connect in any way. Um, but, uh, yeah. So let's pull some cards. You have the five of water. You have the seven of air. You have destiny in reverse. You also have the two of water in reverse. The father, or the, yeah, the father in reverse. And the ace of of fire in reverse so what i'm getting from all this is that 
you're going through a lot of changes right now. You have the Five of Cups here. Um, and you're needing to look on the bright side. You're over here, you know, looking at everything that you have. And you're so focused on, you know, those cups that you spilled that you're having a hard time seeing the beauty of the situation or seeing your own worth. And that could be why, you know, you're really in your head this week. And that, that's why you're coming out as the king of air because you're so in your head, you're wanting to be logical, but at the same time, you really need to nurture yourself because you have feelings too, all right? And with the seven of air being here, um, that's kind of, that's telling me that you're needing clarity. You're needing some sort of clarity in order to move forward. But you're just, you're having a hard time seeing everything. So there could be some illusions happening around you. Um, or maybe you're having a hard time seeing your destiny. Um, possibly you don't know who your lover is going to be in the future. And you're just, your judgment is very clouded. Um, and maybe you're missing your father during this time and, you know, your father could really help you out or, you know, you're thinking about your father and maybe your father passed on to the other side. Um, but either way, um, they are coming out very strongly uh, in this reading. So you could be, you know, wanting to speak to your father. Uh, oh, that's interesting. In the father card, he has the ace of wands in reverse and the ace of fire which is the ace of wands is also in reverse so i feel like you're really trying to connect with like a father figure or you know maybe you're trying to um i don't know you're just you're trying to connect with someone possibly a fire sign possibly a leo i'm getting a lot of leo vibes here um but either way you're you have a very hard time with this relationship it you you guys just don't connect it's but you you want to connect even though you can't connect because you guys see things from different perspectives and one's really emotional while the other keeps all their emotions inside and wants to be more logical um so you're you're really having a hard time finding your destiny so whatever your destiny is this week or whatever your destiny is in general you're just you're needing to go towards it but you're just not seeing the correct path because you feel like no matter which way you go there's some sort of blockage like yeah we get to a certain point and then all of a sudden they shut you out or like they don't want to talk to you or you know whatever it is you know you get to that blockage and you need to you're needing to just work on yourself because once you know your self-worth your destiny is going to be opened directly to you you're going to start understanding who you are what you are meant to be doing how you are meant to be doing it um, and you're going to get the clarity that you need in order to move forward so Pisces, I would suggest holding on to some amethyst and some clear quartz or any type of quartz so that way you can really um, get the clarity that you are desiring in order to move forward in the best way possible. Um, but yeah, there's some sort of relationship that just isn't working out. Um, maybe you just don't see a future with this person. Um, maybe they remind you of a father, of your father, and you're just like, you know what, I don't really have a good connection with my father but I the way you're perceiving you act just like my father and I don't like it and I don't really see us working out in the future because you they remind you of your father okay um, but if you do like your father you're just having a hard time connecting with this person whether that is your father or um, some romantic person in your life um but yeah let's pull some more cards you have abundance in reverse you also have the nine of air so you're no longer stressing about this by the end of the week you're you don't feel like you are abundant enough so there's some sort of lack here um so really focus on your worth 
realize what you actually have and then move forward in that direction because you're you're feeling like you don't have anything you don't have anyone how are you going to move forward you don't you know have that's the thing you keep saying you don't have you don't have you don't have and you're so focused on that part of the situation but you're not focused on what you do have you know focus on what you do have and then you know work on yourself work on the things that you do have in order to move forward because you can create a lot out of nothing all you have to do is get clarity all you have to do is work on you know timing you know the nine of air being here it talks about timing it also talks about stress so maybe you're stressed about not getting something done on time or you know maybe you're trying to work your butt off and um you want like an raise or something but you feel like you're not going to be able to get that raise uh because you know there's not much time left in order to move forward um but yeah now the father card could also mean that you know this is like a boss energy um maybe you're dealing with a boss figure and you know you don't really connect with them and maybe they don't like you um but yeah focus on what you have do what's best for you this week and i see it really working out for you i don't see any extra abundance coming into your life because you do have the abundance in reverse so that tells me that there's some sort of lack um i see you needing to get some clarity this week um because you're having a hard time moving forward especially with the ace of fire in reverse you're not wanting to take action towards anything right now because you are feeling very vulnerable um and emotional all right so pisces let's get into the spirit of the wheel meditation deck Pisces, 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 Pisces. So you have all the elements here, so you could be dealing with any sign. Um, but uh, yeah, just keep that in mind. divine communication spiritual knowing inner light so you're getting some sort of communication this week um, from the divine so you i feel like you're really connected to the spirit realm and that's where i was getting those you know messages you know from the spirit realm and you're you're seeing messages from the spirit realm in the earth realm and your world is like merging together you're seeing everything for what it is you're starting to get the clarity that you need and you're understanding what is from the earth realm and what is not from the earth realm what is you know you know you know what your destiny is deep down inside but there's a lot of illusions here that are clouding your judgment because you feel like should i continue doing this you know it's not really giving me an, a lot of abundance but can you continue doing it you know maybe you know get something on the on the side but like continue moving forward in this direction because i i feel like there's some sort of you know eye on the prize keep your eye on the prize and the things that you desire will come towards you all right so i would suggest you know really listening to some positive affirmations so that way you can get out of this lack mentality and that you can start focus on focusing on yourself and do what is best for you pisces so pisces that's going to be your reading for today i hope you guys resonate and enjoyed this reading if you did please like comment and subscribe it really does help grow my channel and i really do appreciate it namaste i'll see you guys next time peace and if you would like to follow me on instagram and twitter the links will be down in the description box below if you want to check out any of the other videos on my channel you can hit that you can hit that channel button and it'll take you to a whole bunch of videos on my channel but other than that i'll see you guys next time peace